Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tolsty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And today, we got some news this morning when I woke up. And uh, we're gonna get a new raid event on Friday and we're gonna get a collab with Deus X. So this is really, really cool. Uh, basically like the one they did for Just Cause 3. And uh, this looks pretty, pretty cool. So let's go over the things right here. So the raid event will start on Friday. Like every single raid event, you'll get five orbs and you'll be able to fight the boss. As you get as he's getting stronger and stronger every time we beat him and uh, this one looks really really cool it looks like a human slash robot so I don't know if human killer and uh, machine killer is gonna be good here most probably machine killer human killer I don't know yet so starting on Friday you guys will be able to fight this dude and basically get raid coins and with those raid coins you'll be able to get some stuff right here so we're gonna go over the stuff that you'll be able to get we're gonna have the linebacker g87 msgl which is a 200 weapon with fire element on i told you guys gumi and uh ffb they love those fire elements uh weapon so this is a two-handed weapon with a hundred attack that thing looks really really cool and uh yeah so let's move on to the next one nuke virus software which is a, uh, an accessory uh, attack plus 15 enables nuke virus software which boosts physical damage against machine monster which is pretty pretty damn nice if you want to get an extra on uh, machine killer don't know if it's going to be 50 percent on uh, passive or uh, 30 percent for machine killer but nonetheless this thing looks really really cool uh, just getting the plus 15 attack and an extra percentage on uh, machine killer is really really cool then you get coat d'azur sow which is attack 10 lightning elemental enables machine killer plus which is 75 percent extra damage against machine two-handed weapon now uh i wonder if it's gonna be like the machine gun from gene where you're gonna have a certain amount or like fixed dice where you get a percentage on uh, let's say you get a chance to do 125 percent to let's say 400 percent so let's see if the multipliers increase once the data mine comes out, we'll know if this weapon is actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, I hope it's actually like a fixed dice, because that would be really, really cool since there's an element attached to it. But uh, let's just wait and see. Other things you can get, the EMP grenade, which is a throwing weapon. Titan, which is an accessory. And Zenit Zap, which is a weapon. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty, pretty cool. So, let's see, because the raid event's coming and the collab's going well. We're gonna get those units right here, so we'll get the limited units from the Dust X event, Mankind Divided. You'll be able to get Adam Jensen, Viktor Marchenko, Frank Pritchard, and uh, Vaclav Kohler. Hope I said that properly. Alright, so we get two units that go from 5 to 7 stars. So these two right here, Adam Jensen and Viktor Marchenko, will be the 5 star units going up to 7 star and... They actually come with a step up banner. Yeah. So step one, it's going to be 1,500 lapis. You'll be able to get a four star or higher unit guarantee. And it's a three plus one summon. So you basically get three units plus one unit. On step two, it's going to be 3,500 lapis. Same thing, you'll be guaranteed a four star unit. And it's a seven plus one summon. On step three, 5,000 lapis, you'll be guaranteed a 5% Moogle. On step four, 5,000 Lapis, you'll be guaranteed a 10 star Moogle and on step 5, another 5k Lapis and you'll be guaranteed one of the two, whether Adam Jensen or Viktor Marchenko. Uh, yeah, I like that, not bad. The first one basically for uh, 1,500 Lapis, you get a 3 plus 1, which is guaranteed 4 star, which is really, really cool. It's not too expensive. Uh, so if you guys have a little bit of Lapis and you don't want to go crazy on this one, Especially right now, we don't have the data mine yet. So I would tell you guys, hold on before pulling on these units. And let's get a little bit more information to see how good they really are. Are, not are, are. So, let's go with uh, Adam Jensen. Really high on attack. Let's go over his Trustmaster for first. Uh, boost equipment, uh, TF29 agent, sorry. It's uh, an ability. Boost equipment attack when armed with two one-handed weapon and boost attack when equipped with a gun, sword, fist or throwing weapon. So uh, it's going to boost the damage when dual wielding and you'll also get a certain amount of percentage up on your attack when you boost, uh, when you're equipped with a gun, sword, fist or throwing weapon. Uh, looks pretty, pretty cool. We'll wait and see what the percentages are on that thing. But nonetheless, this looks really good. Then a super TMR, 
Jensen strength coat uh, attack 35 defense 20 spirit 20 enable SWAT specialist and SWAT specialist basically boost your attack when you're equipped with a gun is it gun mastery where it's going to give you 50 percent we don't know yet hopefully it's going to be something like that to really maximize the damage but nonetheless the character looks really really cool and uh yeah let's just wait and see what he has to offer so featured abilities uh focus enhancement boost attack by 50 percent and boost uh damage of certain abilities nanoblade deal damage to one enemy and power up with consecutive uses same thing we're gonna wait and see uh what's the multiplier every time that use it and all uh how many turns does it need to max out that nanoblade damage then he has titan activate barrier for self so i guess it's probably going to put the barrier on him where he's going to be able to take a little bit more damage before it actually hits his hp then we'll go to uh, victor marchenko which is more of a a tank unit if we can say so so hp is really really high at 6930 he's a five star going into seven star we're going to go over his trust master right here energy converter boost hp by 20 percent and defense by 30 percent and restore hp and mp each turn which is a materia ability uh really really good for your tanks or uh, aoe magic cover tanks slash physical tanks then we're gonna go over the super trust master marchenko secret which is another uh ability slash uh materia boost defense when equipped with a heavy armor and nullify sleep paralyze confuse and stone really really good to put on your tanks once again uh, the defense hopefully it's going to be something like 40 to 50 percent when equipped with an heavy armor that would be really really sweet then on the featured abilities you get augmented titan titan um one use every three turns activate barriers reduce physical damage taken and temporarily increase chance of being targeted for caster for two turns uh, i'm pretty sure this is going to be 100 percent provoke for two turns he's going to medicate uh, mitigate the damage taken also for uh, those two turns uh yeah for two turns and he's gonna put a barrier on himself so let's say 2000 hp uh barrier so the boss whenever it's gonna hit him it's gonna have to break the barrier before it actually hits his hp then he has takedown damage one enemy and confrontation temporarily increased chance of being targeted and decreased damage taken for five turns so this is actually really really cool uh don't know if this one's gonna be 100 percent, probably like something like 70 80 percent but still being able to uh provoke for five turns really really cool then we're gonna move on to the four star going into six star vaclav kohler uh is all about attack right here we're gonna go over his tm because his tm is actually pretty good uh, especially if you need to build that uh 100 evade tank this thing is not that bad boost attack and hp by 20 percent and boost physical damage uh evasion by five percent five percent is not that bad but just having that extra attack and uh, hp by 20 percent is actually pretty pretty cool it's a materia so uh, nonetheless this this guy looks okay i still love the the sprite on this character he looks so damn cool so damn cool so let's go over the featured abilities that he has vaklav uh controversial augmentation reduce lightning resistance for one enemy add lightning element to own physical attack and enables full augmentation potential for three turns then he has augmentation fortification Gradually restores own HP for 3 turns, boost own defense and spirit, and enable black market augmentation for 1 turn. Then he has defensive enhancements, boost defense and spirit for 1 ally, and damage all enemies on the next turn. Uh, nothing crazy on his kit. Uh, the TM is actually pretty pretty good, especially with the raid you'll probably get some uh, trust moogles to give to the guy to get his trust master. So uh, yeah, if you get him, perfect. If you don't, no biggie, don't worry about it. Then the last one, the three star going into five star, Frank Pritchard, uh, MP, yeah, it's all right, we don't really care about your stats. Trust Master reward, Ce cerebral augmentation, so this is going to be another materia that you can put on your characters. This one's actually pretty good, boost HP and MP by 15% and lightning resistance by 20%, so if you're going to be fighting uh, bosses with uh, lightning element attached to them this is actually really really good so if you can get multiple of this guy his tm is actually really really nice then his featured ability that's our target boost physical damage against machina monster for three turns for one ally uh you rely uh, you really owe me one sorry reduce damage taken for all allies for three turns probably something like 20 percent here and uh, x ed of a uh, cyber security reduce lightning resistance for all enemy and add lightning element to physical attack for one ally uh 
Yeah, let's just say that if you get him, you just want his TM because his TM looks pretty, pretty damn sweet. Then, that's for the raid event and uh, the new banner we're going to get. But we're going to get two more things, actually, before we keep going, before we stop the video. So in the Vortex, in the Trial of the Chamber of the Fallen, you're going to get a new quest that's going to appear, if I'm not mistaken, after maintenance on Thursday, which is, no, oh, wait, Wednesday night? Yeah, Wednesday night. So Thursday morning when you wake up, you'll be able to fight... The ancient, the ancient Elbringer Omega, uh, master, muster all of your power to achieve victory. Machine Killer is effective against it, Kupo. It's vulnerable to lightning attacks, Kupo. You'll need lots of fire resistance equipment for this battle, Kupo. So, if you beat him, uh, your initial completion reward, it's going to be a piece of accessory. Attack and magic plus 35, HP and MP 10%. This thing is really, really good. Uh, especially for hybrid damage dealer, this thing looks really, really good. Then you're gonna get a uh, mission reward, complete the quest, uh, clear the quest actually, Lapis 100. Then use no more than three items, you get a 10% Moogle. Use two or more limit burst, you get Panzer Omega, which reduce lightning resistance by 75% and boost defense and spirit by 40%. This thing is really, really nice, it's a piece of materia. Uh, now the reduced lightning by 75% is it on your own character? Probably something like that where you're going to be uh, lowering your resistance to lightning, but you're going to be boosting your defense and spirit by 40%. Uh, not sure of this thing yet, but uh, when the boss is done and we have all the data on uh, the stuff that we'll be able to get, we'll be uh, we'll know a little bit more about the Panzer Omega. Then the last one, Evoke an Esper Wave Cannon. One use every two turns. Deal partial unmitigated damage to all enemies and reduce defense and spirit. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be like something like 50 or 60% on the break. But we don't know. We'll know exactly once the data mine comes out. So the ancient Elbringer Omega. You're going to go down, bro. We're going to try to find a way to beat you up and uh, basically get your stuff. Then we got one more. We got one more. On the uh, dimensional vortex again, the chamber of the indignant, indignant, whatever you guys know what I mean, uh, where all these new old bosses are coming and they're a lot stronger. Antenolo la Antenola is coming back. You guys probably remember this plant where uh, if you killed her and uh, whatever the little vines left, they went rampage and destroyed you. She's making a comeback, so let's go over her stuff. Uh, attack all of its uh, different parts with their corresponding elemo elemental weakness, Kupo. Make sure to boost your party's resistance against earth and water, Kupo. Uh, if you beat it, you'll basically get 100 Lapis. Then your initial clear reward, you'll get the Torn Mace Plus, which the first one was really, really good. I think it was something like 74 attack with Man Eater. And this one is attack 117. It's a mace. Chance of poisoning, petrifying, and enables Man Eater. So this thing, if you use it in the, um, the arena, this thing is going to be really, really good because you have a chance of petrifying everybody. And especially the Man Eater Plus, you're basically just fighting humans most of the time. You'll be able to dish out a little bit more damage. So this mace looks actually really, really good. Then you get no items. You're going to get a 10% Moogle. Deal fire, wind, and dark damage two times or more. You'll get one ticket. And defeat Antinola. Within 35 turns, you'll get Plant Killer Plus, which is an ability slash um, materia that you can put on your characters. Boost physical and magic damage dealt to plant monsters. And if, if I'm not mistaken, that thing is 75%. So this is going to be really, really good. So after maintenance on Thursday, you'll be able to fight two bosses. And on uh, Friday, if you want, you'll be able to pull for uh, the Deus X. Uh, banner. I would probably tell you guys to wait a little bit just to see the data mine when it comes out, uh, especially to know how good these characters are. But if you're a whale and you want to go for the units and basically get everything that you want, go for it. If not, well, don't go crazy. Don't spend too much. Just do the raid. Basically, build up that uh, that guild and basically build up as many cactuars as you can. And hopefully, you guys will be lucky and get some summon tickets out of the raid and some trust moogles, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more if you're new to this channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!